you to return back these people. Mainly because as a consequence of survival, Muslims, for instance, in Metro Manila were able to fend off economic uh, problems. So we have, for instance, in, in this area, Green Hills, a very successful economic uh, Muslim community as a base. And uh, although Kiapu area is not much, but the presence of Muslims in that area shows that they can continue living together with Christian environments. In the south, the autonomous region in Muslim Mindanao has been organized as early as 1987. The Moro National Liberation Front uh, signed a, an agreement with the government in 1996. Professor No Mizuari came down and in fact became governor of the autonomous region. The only problem we have now after the MNLF is of course the Moro Islamic Liberation Front. But the government is uh, in the process of peacemaking with the MILF and we are hoping, as reports have suggested, that probably a framework can be had where we can have a new experiment with the MILF in the process of parliamentary participation of Muslims in the country. Unless the government will not change attitudes, deal with the Muslims insincerely, then we can always have this kind of clashes from time to time. Not all Muslims would agree to the idea that they are migrants in Metro Manila. Alim Said Bashir, a respected Muslim religious leader, feels strongly about the status of Muslims in the metropolis. It is being misunderstood by non-Muslims that the Muslims came to Manila as an emigrant. It is in the history that the Muslims are the original peoples in Manila. Si Raja Sulaiman, siya ang unang-unang Muslim na gobernador sa Manila. Kung nasasabihin niya, Maranao from Lanao del Sur came to Manila, Cebuano from Zibu came to Manila, Ilocano from Ilocos came to Manila, ay pwede yun. Masabi natin mga immigrants yan dahil hindi sila original na taga Manila, hindi sila Tagalog. No matter the differences in perspectives among Muslims, most of them would agree that there is a need for government to address their concerns and alleviate the hardships that they are experiencing in the country. Rex de Makuta, a respected Muslim businessman, expresses his desire for sincerity among leaders in government. Kami po ay nagpapasalamat din sa gobyerno dahil gumagawa rin sila ng hakbang para mabigyan pansin ang aming mga hinanaing. Yun nga lang, ang problema lang po ngayon ay kailangan talaga magkaroon tayo ng mga leaders na talagang sincero. Dahil kahit anong gawin ng uh, mga NGO, yung mga responsible uh, groups para maging uh, malinaw yung mga issues ngayon, pagka hindi nagko-cooperate ang mga government uh, leaders, ay walang patutunguhan. Sa ngayon po, ang aking observation po, Malaki na itutulong po yung, ay yung open uh, communication na kailangan natin ipatupad ngayon. Dahil po sa mga nakikita natin, mal malaking solusyon yung nagkakaroon ng mga forums, mga meetings, yung mga iba't ibang relihiyon, iba't ibang grupo, iba't ibang sikta. Napakalaking bagay na naitutulong ito dahil ito nagiging uh, parang bridge na may presenta yung mga pagkakataon ng bawat uh, kabila. So siya po ay napakalaki na itutulong niya dito sa mga interfaith uh, gatherings dito, mga interfaith meetings. Dahil ito po ay napag-isipan pati po ang United Nations na isang malaking solusyon sa problema ngayon. Is it possible for Muslims and Christians to come together and unite for the common good? Is it possible to break down the barriers of ignorance and fear and for all of us to reach out to one another and help each other bring about peace, justice, and prosperity in our midst? I say yes, it is possible. In October 2003, a team of volunteers from the Peacemaker Circle decided to try and later found out that despite the difficulties of the challenge, building peace among Muslims and Christians in the grassroots community of Barangay 188 Phase 12 in Tala, Caloocan is possible. Nung ay dumating sa amin ng peacemaker sa pamumunong ni Ma'am uh, Director uh, Marites Apri, uh, Ginguna Aprika, sa umpisa pa lang, dating nila sa amin, walang iba kundi kapayapaan. Dahil kami rin mga Muslim, yan din ang inangat namin, ang kapayapaan. Paano namin matikman kung baga sa pagkain ng tinatawag ng kapayapaan? 
sa madaling salita, nakapag-ugnayan na yung kami, ang peacemaker. So, naitindi namin yung dating nila, naitindi din nila ang kalagay namin dito sa pistol. So, sumali kami ngayon sa peacemaker. So, ang kinabubuti ng peacemaker, marami kaming natutunan doon. Ngayon, ang sinabi sa amin ni Ma'am Gingguna, Afrika, ay ang dapat natin muna pag-usapan para malaman ng isa't isa kung ano itong Muslim, ano itong Christian. So, ang inuna namin yung religion muna. Ano ba ang bawal sa amin mga Muslim na hindi dapat gawin sa amin ng mga brother ng Kristiyano? Ano rin ang bawal sa Kristiyano na hindi namin dapat gawin? Sa madaling salita, nabuo na yun, nakapag-unawan kami, naunawa nila kami, naunawan din sila. Antonio Guerrero, a Catholic, is the Vice President of the Muslim Christian Peacemakers Association. Simula po nung kami ang natira dito sa lugar namin sa Pace 12, Kalokan, ayos naman po ang aming paninirahan din eh. Medyo lang parang nagkaroon kami ng konting takot nung nagdumating na po ang mga Muslim na at, at nagsidami na rito sa aming lugar. Dala po ng ika nga ng mga naririnig namin sa Mindanao ng mga nagkakaroon ng mga gera-gera, mga negatibong pananaw. Sabalit sa tulong po ng Peacemaker Circle Foundation, nabago po ang aming pananaw. Dala ng, nagkaroon po kami ng ugnayan, nagkaroon po kami ng mga respeto sa mga aming nakagis ng tradisyon at pananampalataya. Nabago po ang aming pananaw at nagkaroon po ng kapayapaan. Nagkaroon po kami ng higit na ugnayan. Dala po ng, sa tulong na rin ng uh, Peacemaker Circle Foundation. This is Myra, a Catholic member of the Muslim Christian Peacemakers Association. Nasa sa Peacemaker, nakapasok ko ng mosque. Ito po nakita na ganito pala ang klase ng kanilang religion, kung paano sila magsamba, kung, kung paano sila magdasal. Yun yun, yun yung first time na natuwa ako talaga kasi gusto, gusto kong masaksihan. So nasaksihan ako sa pamamagitan ng peacemaker. Kung wala yung peacemaker, hindi ko talaga ma-experience ma ma yung gano'n na siyempre alanganin ako pumasok sa mosque dahil hindi naman ako Muslim, Kristiyano ko. This is Lina another Catholic member of the Muslim Christian Peacemakers Association. Unang kong kita ng Muslim, akala ko mamamatay sila ng tao. Nung kaya pa, naka ano ako ng Muslim doon sa trabaho ko sa grocery, mababait pala sila. Yun, inakit kami. Tapos sabi naman nung kaibigan kong Muslim, ay hindi naman kami mamamatay tao, mabait kami. Kung ano ang damdamin nyo, ganun din sa amin, sabi nila noong ma'am. Kaya nung ano, marami na akong naging kaibigan ng Muslim. Kaya nga, ngayon ma'am, wala na akong takot sa Muslim. Magsimula nung may peacemaker, mabuti naman pala sila. If people see that our lives are beautiful showing the light of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in our lives, we don't even need to preach much. They will all come to find the light. Now, when the call to prayer wafts into my consciousness at the crack of dawn, I find myself awakening fully and remembering my Muslim brothers and sisters fondly. They are there. They are my neighbors, living not so far away from me. The call of my own Christian faith is to love God and my neighbors as myself. In responding to this call, I have borne witness to my neighbors' lives, and in the process I realize that we are not so different after all. They, too, are human beings like me. As I grew in friendship with them, I realized that Muslims are people of faith, too, who are like me, journeying through life towards fullness in God. Now when I hear the Muslims' call to prayer, I awaken, knowing deep within me that I must carry on, together with my Muslim brothers and sisters, in this difficult but awe-inspiring journey through the path of peace.